Hey guys, Super Bowl Dave here, playing the Human Resource Machine, this is year 39, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges completed. In this one, the challenges are, use 14 or fewer commands, and complete in 76 or fewer steps. What's required is, that we've got to grab a number from the inbox, and we've got to output its coordinates. So in this case, a 15, 15 is here, we've got to grab the 3 from the column, and the 3 from the row. So it'll be three and a three. A two would just be a two and a zero and so forth. The way we're gonna do this is to make things easier, we're just gonna make a few little notes. So this is where we're gonna keep track of what row we're on. And this is if a number is larger than three, so it's a four or higher, we've got to recycle the number and try again. So I've just made a little loop to remind me that's what's going there. We are gonna grab a zero and we're gonna write it down into the row. Once we've done that, we can go to the inbox and we are gonna subtract a four from it. The reason we're doing that is if it spits out a negative, so if it's a negative, we know that the answer must have been, well, the one we got out of the inbox must have been a three, two, one, or zero. And if that's the case, what we can do is um, add the four back on to get back to the original number, we are going to outbox it, and then we're going to grab the row, which is a zero in this case, and we are going to outbox it. We can then jump back to the start. Now, if the number wasn't a negative in this jump here, what we're going to do is we're going to write it down into this cell here, so we know we need to reprocess that number. We are then going to bump up the row so this 15 would then bump to a, so that would be an 11 getting pasted down. I'm going to bump to row one. And then once we've done that, we need to grab this number and then using the jump command, we're going to go up to here and subtract another four from it. So if I hit play, we can see how this is going to pan out because this is the entire code finished. We brought the zero up, 15 take four is an 11. We need to try again and we're going to go to row one. 11 take 4 is 7, write it down, bump that to 2, try again, it's a 3, so bump it up, and then I'll slow it down, so we can see 3 take 4 is a negative, so we don't need to do any more row counting, so we can jump forward, and we're going to add the 4 back on to get to the 3, output it, so we've just outputted this 3 here, and now we need to know what row 15 was on, which is the 3. And as you can see, we've already pushed that up to 3, like so. Now we've done that, it's going to reset. And we're going to grab the next number. So 2 take 4, negative 2. So we know the answer is 2. And 2 is on row 0. We're going to grab a 0, reset, even though it didn't really need to, but it's just part of the code. We're just going to do it again. We've got a 0. We're going to uh, bump it up to row 1, because a 4 is a 0 and a 1. So we can see 0 and a 1. Now we're going to grab the 6. 6, what we're looking for is a 2 and a 1. So 6 take 4 gives us 2. We're going to write the 2 down, bump that up. Check and see if we can get any more rows. We can't. So we're going to output the 2, and then we're going to grab the 1 and chuck it in. Now we've done that, we're just going to reset and the code should be finished. Now we've got the clipboard up, we can see for the size challenge, we did it in 14 out of 14 commands, and for the number of steps, in exactly 76 out of 76. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful, and thank you for watching.